Arrested in May 2000, he was the most wanted man in Australia. A cop shooter who fled into bushland and sparked a massive manhunt. Three weeks later, his badly decomposed body was found lying under a tree, a .22 calibre rifle and magazine nearby. Today, the coroner found he'd shot himself sometime after the May Day shootings. There's been no indication, there hasn't been any public contact at all to indicate that um, there was any foul play. Also today, the first insight into Nigel Perotti, the person. One of his best friends, Robert Allen, described him as an arrogant but kind man who used to say knowledge is the greatest thing in the world. He loved guns and eventually changed his name to Jesse James Ford. What's done is done, but he was, he was an honestly caring, loving bloke. He also had a jealous streak and a short temper. An argument with a neighbour led to a heated domestic dispute, death threats and then the shootings. Mr Allen told the court Perotti became increasingly unstable in the days leading up to the shootings. He bragged about living out his fantasies and ending it all by flying a plane into Parliament. He had told me that he'd never go to jail um, for, for, the, for the actions that he was going to take. And that's where I believe he wasn't himself. Carl Stefanovic, National 9 News.